Oh, well, it's Wednesday again. <laughs> Time for your weekly haircut. Yes. You know, I have very high growth rate of hair. You do. I mean, I can see that. You may not have a lot of uh, area on your head that has hair. You're mostly no. bald. But I that am. 10% of your head. I, I, I registered myself in the World Book of Guinness. I'm going for a, a growth r height rate. What was the name of the book? The World Book of Guinness. <laughs> it's not the Guinness. It's the one that, um, you know, the Guinness in Ireland, they've got their own World Book of Famous Things. Well, that's actually owned by Guinness as well. Yeah. It They're is, both owned by Guinness. Yes. I, and and I'm, I'm claiming that the beer makes my hair grow faster. Oh, I understand the connection It's now. all, you know, um, uh, commercialism. I'm, I'm all on for it, you know. I want to. I gotta make some money. But your problem is only ten percent of your head has hair. Even if you spread out that ten percent over the rest, you wouldn't have very much hair growth. Yeah, but it, what if it starts growing hair? It could. It, but I have to. Apparently, I have to drink about five gallons a day. A Guinness of Guinness. That's a lot of Guinness. Yes, it's good for pregnant women. Why do you keep looking over there? What? Why do you keep looking over there? Well, because I like to look outside your majestic picture window of the street <laughs> here in in famous Quebec. That's actually a window. It's, it is a window. <laughs> yes. What did I say? You said a picture window. Uh, Maybe we have a different well, definition of picture well, I, I, window. A picture, it's a defined, it's a window that reveals the, the picturesque uh, outskirts of the, uh, of the street. I thought it was a picture that looked like a window. No, that was well, It's a window that, that looks be, like a picture. It could be a, that's, now you're talking about, I think, the electronic kind of thing that Bill Gates has in his house. He just puts up a screen and it looks like a picture, but it's actually a window, but he can see anything in the world because it's a window that can see anything. Oh, I understand, I understand. You well, should. have a seat. Okay, thanks. I could have cut that 10% well, of always, hair up. Uh, you know the good thing about cutting hair? It doesn't matter how long a, a particular hair is. It's just as easy to cut no matter how long well, what it is. what I'm astonished is your skill at cutting them all the same length. I mean, how I try, I don't know. You just use scissors and you cut each hair yeah, the I, same I, length. I just lift up your hair and then they're not all actually the same length. Is there's they're all, no, they all rise to the same elevation above the ground. I thought you were cutting them all the same length. I should get a discount. <laughs> I should charge you a premium. Oh, well, yeah, but what about this? I got 50% less real estate hair. Uh, well, uh, 90%. You, you can charge me more when I actually start growing hair thanks to Guinness. Oh, Guinness, okay. the beer that's good for pregnant women. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm practicing my, uh, my... Salesmanship. My salesmanship, yes. You know, this is a big deal for me. You know, I, I, this could be the big time for me. That you could. I'm, I could. I'm quitting my job at that parking lot booth. <laughs> Gets boring there, but I have big dreams. Big dreams. Big dreams. I dreamt. That's uh, how I dreamt. I dreamt that I had a dream that I had hair. Would you sit down? Well, okay, I'm okay, trying okay. to cut your hair here. I got a business well, to run. I, I got people coming in and out of here all day with the same stories about how they're going to get in some book of records. You're what? not special. Other people are saying this? That's right. Oh, I got a Molson guy come in the other day. Oh, well. <sighs> Molson. Those guys, what the hell is that? That's not gonna grow hair. Yes, it does. That most of them. You see that gorilla back there? It, uh, yeah. He's not a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> it's a guy. Is that a rep from Molson? Yeah, that's a rep from Molson. Are you he looks like a gorilla. Me? What, do you cut his hair? I try, but it grows too fast. Over his whole body. You cut his whole that's body. That's right. Oh, man. What's that? Do you cut his around the lower waistline? The extremities? The southern regions? Yes, I cut along he the southern regions. He trusts you with a big pair of blades he, snipping around down there. He trusts me. Well, I guess you're all I'm a professional. You are professional. I'm a professional barber. I should have been professional at something. Now, no. now I'm just chasing dreams like like wild turkeys out in the forest. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're chasing just, dreams just like wild turkeys. Why, just the other day I went turkey hunting and I couldn't catch any turkeys. Do you know why? Because they're running very fast chasing their dreams. Well, they're, um, turkeys are, are, well, dreams are hard to catch as a wild turkey. That's right, they don't have any hands. You've got to creep up on them and before they fly away out of their shrubberies, they, uh, they're hidden... A camouflage, you've got to grab one. You Just like a dream, you've got to grab a dream by the scaly legs and pull it out of the air. Sorry, are we talking about catching turkeys or catching the dreams of turkeys? Well, it's a metaphor. The turkey's like a dream oh, flying away on me. Right. That's why I... That's why are you going to have a seat or not? You're, did you come in here for a haircut or just to brag oh, about right, your, okay, sit your, your down. innocuous I'm, claim I'm, to fame? All right, I'll sit down for God's sake. You know, I just... I just thought yeah, I'd right. report some good news, you know, once in a while. I, mean, I bet there's a lot of people coming here. Would you turn your head? I'm trying to cut your hair. Well, I bet there's a lot of people coming here and they've got nothing good done. to say. Huh? Done. I'm done. You're, oh, that's fast. <laughs> yeah, well, it only takes me one-tenth the amount of time it takes for normal people. 
You know, of course, what? that was about two seconds, so it would normally take me about 20. You know what? This isn't natural, this baldness. I had an accident. What was the accident? Well, my mother cut my hair. <laughs> oh, I see. And she, so, so you're not, not some kind of medical condition. No, 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 it was an accident. My mother, right. she, she, uh, she always tried different ways. And, and she had this thing, it was called the hair whiz, and it was like a comb with a, hair, a razor blade in it. Yes. And she would just claw at my head as I screeched in agony. <laughs> she just, he just yanked the hair out? Well, the kind of the braids got, the blades in there, they got dogged while she never replaced them. Oh, I understand. And it traumatized me, so I think that's why I lost that's my what, hair. Is that why? Oh, okay. I was okay. bald at 18. Right, okay, okay. And now you're a parking valet. Not even a valet, you, you, you man the toll booth. I know. <clears throat> Well, that, that's how I got that job. They said they needed a bald guy. Why would you need a bald guy? Well, they said it was very windy there, and they had a lot of complaints of guys with <laughs> their hair blowing around. So oh. they, it was, I was ideal for the job. I had the, the physical attributes right. for it. So, right, so it wouldn't have been... It's not particular to parking lot attendant or toll booth attendant. It just happened to be in a windy spot. It's in a very windy spot. Right. That toll booth's right on the edge of the Grand Canyon. Right on the edge right of the Grand Right on the edge. They put me right on the edge, and the parking lot's there for people to come and view the Grand Canyon. Yeah, I understand why you would have oh, a parking yes. lot beside well, the Grand Canyon. Well, it's windy there, boy, I'll tell you. Right, okay. And okay. if hair blows in your eyes, you might you might not be able to see what's going on, and someone might, well, you might fall off the edge. Right, 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 right. It happened to the first, the, it happened to the other four previous parking lot attendants. The hair got in their got, eye. Got in their eye, and they walked in the wrong direction. And instead of going right, they went left, and they stepped oh, on the edge of the cliff. Hold on. They're, they're, I thought they were in the booth. What walking goes on? Oh, they have to go outside. They have From to what? leave. They don't stay there for the rest of their lives. They have to go home to family and friends. <laughs> but some didn't make it. Four of them didn't make it. The, the last four. What? The last four. The, the most four. The most recent four. The previous four before me. Right. <laughs> All the same reason the hair got in their eyes. Oh, yeah, though, unfortunately, they had very long hair. They were, they were all, all retired hippies. They were all retired hippies. Yeah. Oh, okay, so they, that, that, that one strand. So your ball, but you still got all, your hair is pretty long. It's just a, you know, oh. I could see it choking you to death, that one it's, strand. It's long on the sides of my head. Right. Well, it could choke, I guess, but you know, it's usually it's the hair on top of your head. Statistically, that's what blows in your eyes. Oh, most of the hair that blows They've in They've done studies at Stanford. Stanford University? Yeah, they did a study. They put guys in wind tunnels and they <laughs> discovered that their hair on top of your head, that's what blows in your eyes. Okay, I understand. And how many, how many, what percentage of the hair is responsible for death? Well, you only need a little bit, you know. A little bit gets in your eyes and then the tear guts start, tear ducts start spilling on water and, and then, and then you, you panic. Usually. Oh, right. I can understand that. If you're going to panic, you're going to run. And if you're next to the Grand Canyon, you might just panic and run into the That's wrong direction right. yeah. and yeah. fall over. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is what you get when you don't hire people properly. And people think my job's not dangerous. No. It, who thinks that? Well, people just think that. If I tell them I work in a... Name one person that thinks that. Well, my, uh, my neighbor. Your neighbor. Okay. Yeah. She, her name's Marge. Marge. Yeah, she's pretty hot. <laughs> I always brag about my job, but she thinks I'm just nobody. Right, right. She doesn't understand why I own such a great... Well, I don't... It's not my... You need a shave. I, I guess I could use a shave. Okay, I've got, got this beard that's going down to my belly button. I haven't had it. I always wanted to look like one of those guys in ZZ Top, you see. That's why I put this... I've been growing this beard. Which one? Billy Gibbons? That's the only one I can name. Yeah, well, they all have long okay, beards. Okay, done. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Oh, you did that fast again. Yeah, I'm very... How did you cut the ball the same length again? <laughs> yeah, now, you get, now you're barely, it looks like a horizontal line at the bottom. Well, it, yeah, oh, yeah, it's very level. That's fair, uh, yeah. Unless I tilt my head. But look at this, that's quite, I'm impressed, I'm impressed. How many, I wonder how many heads you've cut. Have you kept track? Yes, I have kept track. Maybe you can get in the World Book of Guinness. Uh, yeah, I've cut 7,563 and a half heads. Oh, heads. Heads. Oh, just... No, that's hair. I mean uh, hair. That the hair, the hair off that many heads. Well, not that. Some of them come back. I repeat, customers. There There's was fewer. A, oh yes, there was yeah. an executioner in England who had a record of six thousand heads. Six thousand people heads, and yeah. you can only do it once. And yeah, there's no repeat customers. No, he's no repeat. And he's not popular. No, he's not popular. But he does it with a bag over his head, so they can't he see. He did it with a bag over his head, so no one knows that he's who the, he should not be. People don't know who to hate in that case because. Right. He might, who knows who could be? He could be the guy walking by a medieval street uh, 
and he maybe he's a baker in the right. his spare time. Right. There he is going to the king and cutting off heads. I'll tell you, it was harder in those days. We have concluded our broadcast schedule for today. Good night.